This is a guide on replacing an LCD matrix on the Apple MacBook Air 13.3 inch. To begin, shut down the computer by holding the power button. In order to remove the thin aluminum bezel, the display assembly has to be warmed up with a heat gun. Spend a few minutes warming up the edges of the top cover evenly. Use a wide plastic tool to pick at the bezel from the inside edge. It is important to keep the bezel warm and to separate the glue slowly. The thin aluminum bezel is easily deformed. Please be extra patient while separating it. Whenever the glue stops separating easily, reheat the entire assembly. Proceed carefully and repeat these steps as many times as it takes to continue the bezel separation. Top edge separates the easiest and once it has been unglued, move on to the side edges. Keep using the heat gun to warm up the bezel. Move on to the bottom edge and once separated, set the bezel aside. Remove two tiny Phillips screws holding the LCD board in place. At this point, the process of removing the old LCD matrix can be started. Gently warm up the entire display assembly with the heat gun. Make sure to move along quickly and don't focus heat on one point for too long. Do not use the heat gun once the LCD matrix has been partially separated. The plastic diffuser sheets underneath the matrix will deform instantly from hot air. Using a plastic pry tool, begin separating the thin glass matrix from its mounting edges. Please note, removing the LCD matrix will shatter it. Typically, the glass edges of the matrix are the likeliest to break. Continue separating the matrix from the right edge, then move on to the top edge. At this point, the glue will cool down and the panel may start to break up. Place a paper towel on the keyboard and wrap it around the main body to keep the tiny glass shards away from the keyboard and the vents. Remove the old LCD matrix. Please be extra careful, the glass will be very sharp on all of the edges. Next, the mounting edges have to be fully cleaned up. There will be a lot of tiny pieces of glass on the edges and we recommend using tweezers and a scalpel to effectively remove all the glass while leaving most of the glue in place. Set the top diffuser aside once it is free from the broken glass. Spend as much time as necessary to clean up the edges. Ensure to collect all the broken glass for disposal. Mounting edges have to be completely free of debris for successful reinstallation. Please note this will take some time. Once all the glass has been cleaned up, gather it all up and dispose of it immediately. Now the old LCD board can be removed. Gently bend out the LCD board forward from the top edge and open the video connector's bracket. Open the tiny plastic tabs securing the backlight flex cable connection to the LCD board. Carefully remove the LCD board, making sure that the video and the backlight connectors are properly disconnected. Line the keyboard with a clean paper towel and unpack the new LCD matrix. Place the new matrix facing down on the keyboard, gently bend the LCD board forward 180 degrees and place it directly above where it would normally mount. Feed the backlight flex cable into the gap between the LCD board and the panel. Make sure the backlight connector tab is open. Slide the flex cable into the connector, making sure it's in all the way, and close the securing tab. Unbend the LCD board with the backlight flex cable attached. Reconnect the video connector by aligning the LCD board with it and plugging the board onto the connector. Secure the video connector's bracket. At this point, a loose test can be performed. Press the power button and if the backlight and the startup graphics appear, both connectors have been plugged in properly. Hold the power button to cancel the boot up. Replace two small Phillips screws on the LCD board. Remove the rear protective film. 
Replace the plastic diffuser and lift the LCD matrix in place. At this point, a second test can be performed. Turn the computer on and look for small particles and dust showing behind the screen. Hold the power button to cancel the boot up. Remove all visible debris with tweezers. Blow off the main diffuser with compressed air. Lift the LCD matrix in place and repeat the test. If the white background seems satisfactory, hold the power button to cancel the boot up. Lightly press the LCD matrix into its mounting edges. Peel off the front protective film. Replace the aluminum bezel. Start at the bottom edge and move around the perimeter of the display assembly, pressing the bezel into the rubber gasket around the edge. Warm up the entire display assembly with a heat gun and using a paper towel apply pressure evenly around the entire bezel. Reheat the bezel a second time and reapply the pressure. And you're done.